Welcome back inside the upper projectile deck of Turret One on Battleship Iowa. We are here to talk about some incredible footage we got when we turned Turret Three about a month ago. So uh, if we're talking about Turret Three, why am I in Turret One? Well, frankly, because it's cleaner and easier to get into, uh, but also because the story starts here. So back in February of 2022, we heard some inaccurate information online about the rollers. And the rollers are the giant bearings that are actually in the overhead here right above me. And they are what the turret sits on that allows it to turn. Uh, so we came into the turret and opened this hatch right here, which leads into the interstitial space, which is where you access the rollers. But when we got in there, we found something really unexpected and cool. Check it out. Here we go. Okay, good luck. I'm not even sure how to do this. <laughs> Yay, human-friendly battleship. <laughs> that was actually pretty nicely done. All right, so we're gonna try to give you an, a as best we can a sort of feel for what this space is like. There's the hatch that we came in, one of our favorite tiny hatches. Just wow. So now we're in the interstitial space between this, the conical bulkhead which supports the turret and the lower barbette which is a piece of three inch armor plate. These big bolts up here attach this lower barbette to the bottom side of the upper barbette, which in some areas is as much as 16 inches thick. To my right is, are these are rollers. This is the roller system. And uh, there's been some bad information out there on social media about what the material might be. These are in fact nickel steel. Uh, and the entire roller system is precisely machined, it is hardened to be able to support the weight of a 2,000 ton turret turning around. This is an amazing space, very, very cool. This rubber here is to keep dirt off of the rollers, keep it out of the, uh, the grease and, and the, the roller system. Uh, beautifully machined, these are very important components of a turret with respect to how it can aim and fire. They have to be very level with the, the baseline of the ship. They have to be perfectly machined. This is critical stuff. Yeah, and this space is absolutely incredible. Did you catch that? Did you see the name on the bulkhead? The rollers had to be greased periodically so that they would run smoothly. And the guys who got in there to do that work left graffiti in the space. They wrote their names in Greece on the bulkheads. And uh, from according to crew members we talked to, the tradition goes all the way back. They found names in there from the late 40s. Cut to April 19th of 2022, Mark Harden, who was the center gun captain in this turret in 89, was back for a visit. And when the guys come back, we like to get them into their spaces if we possibly can and let them revisit where they used to work. So we let him crawl his turret. When we got to the upper projectile deck, we started talking about the names that we had found in the space, including Zion. We saw Zion in like three different places and we didn't know if it was a name or a reference to something else, maybe the national park. Mark reacted immediately and said, no, that's Adam Zion. So not only did he know Adam, he knew how to get a hold of him. So we got in touch with Adam and talked with him about what it was like to grease the roller path. When we got in there, we would all have to get our, our coveralls on. We had these blue coveralls. And you would button them all up and tape them up that here at the wrist. Make sure you were buttoned up here. But we would bring buckets of Molly B. Denim grease in there with us and five gallon buckets. You take rags and tie them around your wrist, and your arms, and your hands, and then you just stick your hands into those buckets. And just scoop up as much grease as you could on your hands. Now those strain rollers, those bearings are quite large. You're sitting on top of the barbette, which is 
all the support for that turret. Your turret's not bolted onto the ship, it's just sitting on the ship. And it sits on top of that roller pad. And when you greased it, you had to stick your arms between the spaces of the roller path and two bearings. So you're pushing grease between them like yeah. that. And let me tell you, that's just the spookiest feeling ever. Because if it was just a tiny bit, because your arm is literally, if you are stuck in that space, pushing your arm in there, push grease back. And if it was just a tiny bit, your arm's done. It's done. And we did that all the way around. Okay, now for the main event. We've talked about the rollers, we've talked about greasing them. Want to see what it looks like when they move? We crawled into the interstitial space in turret three and mounted a camera. Awkward. <laughs> and if you want to bring it up there to show what you're doing, we could, I could hand it to you also. No, you don't want to hand it to me. Okay. Look at this. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> good point. That's good. All right. Take a look at it. Okay, I'm gonna get more this way. Yeah, I'm gonna get a shot so we can take a look. I think that's it. I think that's it. That's about it. Okay. Start cleaning here. Start cleaning here. <laughs> it's like your new profile. 